Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now I did put the official NHC forecast uh, on my channel, but you know me. If I see other information, I have to let you know about it. So I'll put it on a different video. I didn't want to mess with the official forecast of what National Hurricane Center says is going to happen to this storm. Now before I get to this track, because I want to show you what I'm trying to talk about, I want you to don't think I'm trying to fear monger anybody. I'm showing you all possibilities here. Now this is your GPS, GF, sorry, GFS uh, model, and I'm going to show you the next few days of what's going to happen with this storm system according to the GFS, the Euro, and especially the NAM 3K. The NAM 3K is showing us some different information than what we're getting from these models, guys. Now this GFS, this is our 48, is where it starts moving across the Gulf and where it's going to head. It shows it's going to do a 992 millibar when it comes in. You go down to 987 at its strongest, and that's according to the GFS model. Now that concurs, well, 983, that concurs with uh, what National Hurricane Center says, that it's going to get up to 70 miles an hour uh, storms. But they're not saying it's going to be a Cat 2 or above or any of that stuff. And this is what it's going to dance around as soon as it hits land. Now, this is your Euro model. Euro models somewhat showing the same information as the GFS that is going to come across and start strengthening as it comes. Now, you got to be aware it is showing also these severe storms that will be whipping across from these bands and it's going to reach all the way to Texas as well. Now, as it gets closer, it starts strengthening. You get more bands of severe storms on the sides and it, it gets all the way down to 996 and then it shows it goes away. That is your Euro model. That's why National Hurricane Center is showing up to 70 miles an hour for, I think it's a 24-hour period. Now, this is your NAM 3K. This is the one that I go by. Yeah. Somebody got in trouble with the police, if you can hear that. Now, they, they go up to 60 hours with a NAM 3K. And I want you to pay attention closely to what the storms show for the NAM 3K because it's it's showing the worst case scenario guys it's showing the possibilities that this could get worse than what uh the other two models are showing us so far i mean look at the millibars right there is going down to 932. now here's the winds i got it on 10 meter winds and i am picking up 100 102 i'm picking up 102 knots that's like 116 miles per hour, guys. This this is showing a, that's a cat three, you know, cat two, cat three. Now, as we go into today, and it crosses over Florida. It, this is according to the NAM 3K model, so you can see it in, in in motion. As soon as it gets into the Gulf, I show that it's going to turn into the tropical storm strength from this model. And as we go across today, this is 10 and 11, 11 o'clock tonight. We go into tomorrow and it heads towards New Orleans. This is six o'clock in the morning. Right there is already hurricane strength, I believe. That yellow orange usually is what that indicates. Let me play a little bit, then stop it. 85 miles an hour, and that's just in the beginning of it. Now, as we go into tomorrow evening, it starts curving to the west. And it goes away from Tallahassee, from what I show. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And it's starting to get the green spurts in it. And that's very high uh, in the 90s. Let me show you. Right about there. 105 right there. And that is tomorrow. I'm sorry, the day after tomorrow at 3 a.m. And then as it gets closer, we can only see 60 hours. Remember this. As it gets closer, it starts getting into the purple. And the purple is where you get crazy speeds. Let me see what that is for the last shot. The black would be the darkest. You can see the legend. It's up here on top. But 118 miles an hour, guys. So far, 30s on land. We don't know past this yet, but we'll see. 
but that's 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 enough to make me wonder let's back it up a little bit so you can see and this is what we have so far this is the nam 3k and we all know how the gulf of mexico gets warm and gets that rapid intensification so we'll see what comes out of this guys this looks very dangerous if this model were, were to be correct now they are showing it is 70 so we will see if that's if that's correct according to them i just wanted to give you every possibility i didn't think it'd be right just to say oh uh, let's be on the safe side and let's say what nhc says and not show you what the other models are showing me as well and so i had to restrain myself uh from showing that so i figured i'd just make a second video just to give you a little bit of, of what else we're seeing out there. Now, Psalms 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who coverest thyself with light as with a, a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers and the waters who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flame and fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever. Thou coveredest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. As thy rebuke they fled, as the voice of thy thunder they, they hasted away. They go up in the mountains, they go down by the valleys unto the place where thou hast found it for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they, that they not turn again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They, they give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to, the grass to grow for cattle, for the cattle and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. Amen. So I hope you all have a blessed day today. I hope you all continue to enjoy your Saturday. I just wanted to give you all another look at what I was seeing out there. And I just wanted you to know where I was coming from. So I appreciate you for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day. All glory goes to God.